to Math Made Easy with Frida. Today we will be solving these complicated looking algebra problems where you're given sums like this. If x plus 1 over x equals to 3, then what does x squared plus 1 over x squared equal to or x cubed plus 1 over x cubed or x to the power of 4 over 1 over x to the power of 4 equal to. Today I will show you simple, easy trick to solve these kind of problems. Let's start with the first one. We're given you x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 and x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to what? All right. Normally, I'll show you how we usually, we're supposed to solve this. All right. We take x plus 1 over x squared should be equal to 3 squared. Squaring both sides here and then we get x squared plus 2 into x into 1 over x plus 1 over x the whole squared is equal to 9. x and x cancel so we have x squared plus 1 over x squared I'm just bringing this here first plus 2 is equal to 9 and we have x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 7. Fine, we solve it with a few steps involved. Now I'm going to show you how to solve it using a formula which is n squared plus or minus 2. All right, n is this number 3 here, and the plus and minus depends on these two signs here. All right. Now, normally, you have to remember this. This normally plus and a plus sign in math gave me positive. But in this case, we go the other way. We get negative. Negative into negative gives me positive. But in this case, we'll take the opposite, which is negative. And two different signs, plus and minus, should give me negative. But in this case, we will get positive. We will use addition here. This is what we have to use here in this formula. And if we have negative and a positive, I'm talking about these signs between these two equations. We will usually give me negative, but in this case, we will be using the positive. All right. Now here we can see uh, the only number we have to think of is the number three. Okay. And squared plus or minus 2. Since we have two plus signs, we subtract 2. That would be 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. That's your answer. x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 7. One step done and one step. Now let's do this for another one just to see what it works out to. Here, what is n? 3 is n. So we have 3 squared. Now we have a plus sign and a negative sign normally that would say negative but here we have to add 2 so the answer is 9 plus 2 which is 11 that's it you don't have to do this entire calculation if you remember the formula and which sign to use you can solve math sums like this let's move on So when we're working with cubes, the formula is n cubed plus or minus, the same plus or minus rule we used, 3n. That's the formula we'll be using. So n right here is 2. So that will be 2 cubed. Now do we use a plus or minus? Look at this sign. Plus and positive and negative are usually give me negative. But in this case, we have to take positive 3 into 2 that gives me 8 plus 6 which is 14 and you're done okay so remember this formula for cubes next we go to the fourth root for the fourth root we have to work out n squared plus or minus 2 we have to do this 
two times. All right, I'll show you how you do this two times. All right, we have here the n here is three, so we have three squared minus two plus because they are both plus, it became minus, and we get the answer. Uh, 9 minus 2 is 7. All right. Now we have again n is equal to 7. We have to do it one more time with n equal to 7. Now your new value, we work it with 7 squared again minus because it's plus minus 2, which will give me 49 minus 2, which is equal to 40. Seven. I hope you got it. You get an answer here and you work it one more time. You basically work n squared plus or minus 2 twice to get your answer when it's the fourth root. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to practice every day, please subscribe to my channel as I post every day. Till next time, have a nice day.